Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing another workout together. We're going to be doing an intense leg slash glute workout together. You guys seem to really really love my last one but I do know that not everybody has the luxury of going to a gym or has a gym at their house so I thought it'd be really cool to do another workout with you guys but at home so that way it's just like minimal equipment. So I do have a couple of things that I'm going to be using. I have two resistance bands, a resistance loop and two 25 pound dumbbells. However if you don't have the weight or the resistance bands it's still going to be intense, but if you can find something around your house that's going to be heavy for you to add in, of course that will intensify the workout and make it just a little harder, just a little more challenging. And I'm excited to work out with you guys again today. And I'm even more excited because I have this super cute outfit and you guys know how I feel about at home workouts. I really don't enjoy them, but a super cute outfit really makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Like you have to have a cute fit on. I'm telling you guys, it'll really like make the workout that much better. And today's outfit that you see I have on is by Ala Yoga, so I'm so excited and happy to be partnering with Ala Yoga in this video. This exact outfit I have on today is the Ambient Logo Bra, and the bottoms are the high waist airbrush leggings. And you guys, when I tell you they are so comfortable, like you can wear this all day. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like a lot of my you know workout and gym clothes it's comfortable but just for working out it's usually a little bit restrictive and after i'm done with my workout i don't like to stay in my workout clothes too much longer like i'll maybe go run some errands but i can't wait till i get it off and get out of them this is not the case it fits and forms to your body but it's not restrictive at all the material is so so soft and what's really cool about this company is they're 100 percent sustainable so nothing is made in sweatshops and that just i don't know for me it just makes me feel a lot better wearing clothes like that knowing that there wasn't some be slaving in horrible conditions just to make an outfit so it's pretty amazing that they do that so if you guys are interested in any of these pieces of course i will have the link in the description below other than that we're pretty much done we're gonna go ahead and get started and get to working out i'm excited to work out with you guys if you're excited to work out with me give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below what new videos you'd like to see from me we're gonna do three sets 12 reps on each leg we're gonna take it really slow we're gonna count three seconds on our way down hold for two at the bottom push through our heels when we back up. The resistance band helps with stability. So, ready, let's go. I'm somewhere in the middle, try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. Oh, oh shit. I might gotta take that down to ten. For the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes. And I will never know why you let me go. I'm gonna take it real slow. Twelve feet. I know it's good if I'm on I got it I got a go 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 running into better times go 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 from my emotions out go 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 I put my resistance loop under my table and I put this 25 pound dumbbell on it so that way it doesn't um, snap off because this table is pretty light and then I'm holding a 25 pound dumbbell and then we're doing kneeling thrust, kneeling hip thrust. Um, put this pillow here just for um, my knees. If you have a yoga mat, even better. All my yoga mats are at my gym, so we're gonna make do. But y'all, this workout, this is my second set. I forgot to, I try to record my first set for, with every exercise because I listen to music on the other sets and I don't wanna be so out of breath, but this is my second set, so I'm pretty out of breath. And this, Hello, is too small, so, so much for the knee support. Okay, so we're doing 12, 12 of these. Three. 
then I like to pause for three seconds at the end, just like I do with my regular hip thrust. Make sure you are contracting your glutes at the very end. Don't underestimate a home workout. A home workout can be just not more effective than one in the gym. It all depends on you know, the intensity level you're bringing. So by slowing down a lot of the workouts that I'm doing, I'm literally feeling it, I feel like, even more than when I'm in the gym because I tend to always speed through and a lot of the times you're not getting as much activation as you can be. So the thing I do kind of enjoy about home workouts is it forces you to, right, it forces you to be more creative and create more time under tension and therefore I feel your glutes and your legs, if that's what you're focusing on, really tend to get even more activated because you're trying so hard. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm on, I got it, I got it. To intensify your workout, so y'all don't underestimate this one. Okay, I apologize if you can hear my air conditioning in the background, but it is just way too hot to not have that on right now. So we're gonna be doing BB stance, hip thrust, and um, you can do single leg if you like. I just feel like this one, I'm able to not focus so much on my balance um, while still basically only using one leg. So if you're not familiar with what a BB stance hip thrust is, it's basically your one is at the 90 degree angle that you regularly be at, that you would regularly, I swear when I'm fatigued, I cannot talk y'all. So just, you know what I mean? <laughs> when the regular, angle, which is like a 90 degree, probably is slightly out a little bit. And then the second leg will just kind of be resting out, not fully extended out like this where your knees locked out, but more so just resting like this. That way you're primarily putting weight on just one leg and isolation. I mean, yeah. And, um, one leg, one legged exercises, there's a word for it, but I can't think right now, um, are really good when you're, you know, you have minimal equipment and stuff because it takes literally double the work for your one leg to do usually what your two leg is used two legs are used to doing. So I'm gonna use my 25 pound dumbbell and my medium resistance band. And then we're gonna do 12, or did I say 10? I did 10 on the Bulgarian, by the way. I didn't end up doing 12, but um, let me put this pillow just so it doesn't hurt my hips. Uh, I'm gonna try to do 12, we're gonna try. So let's go, this is my first set. So it's so light because I'm used to doing really heavy hip thrusts. So I'm going to try to add um, both of these weights. And let's see if I feel a difference because that kind of felt a little too light. felt like I could do, well, I could do a lot more reps. So this exercise we're going to do is a single leg deadlift. So I like to rest my leg on something like your couch. I know I'm putting my shoes on the couch. This couch just is done with and thrashed anyway, so mind your business, okay? <laughs> um, so you, just like you would do a Bulgarian split squat, but bring your um, foot in a little bit closer to you. And then you're going to reach down, feel that stretch in your hamstring. Once you feel a good stretch there, you're going to make sure you think about pushing up through your heel and kind of think in your head, tuck your pelvis. Like you want to kind of tuck yourself here. You want to go here. Because if you don't do that, you it's really easy to use your upper body and pull the weight up with your upper body. And we're trying to target our lower body. So you don't want to do that. I'm going to hold these two pounds. And y'all, this weight is getting heavier and heavier by each set. I'm like, geez, I should have did this with like 10 pound weights. Like, do not underestimate this ex this workout. If you do the whole thing, you will be dead. Reach down here and tuck. Ten of these. Jeez. Oh gosh. You 
guys, that exercise right there, I just started incorporating these because it took me a while to get the form down. That's why I wanted to explain to you guys the form first. But whew, they will target those hamstrings and glutes. So don't skip this exercise. It's really good. Push through it, you guys got it. Exercise and we are doing no weights, nothing at all. We're just going to do frog pumps, as many reps as possible, and do that for two sets. So go until you can't no more, and then do it one more time. And this workout is complete. Ready? Let's go. Make sure you squeeze at the top. here thank you guys so much for watching if you try this workout come back and let me know in the comments I really want to know and also if you like this outfit that I was wearing today or the black one that I showed you make sure you hit the link in the description box and we could be twinning <laughs> but no thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next upload bye